All right, guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you best settings after the new Rust update, basically the fourth swipe on um, the fourth swipe on the 6th of March, basically revamped most of the graphics. Not entirely, but it's understandable. And I hope you guys enjoy. Now, if you guys are wondering who I am, if I'm just some bum talking to you, um, I have almost, well, pretty much, I do have 13,000 hours on this game. I've been playing for a while and I think I know what I'm talking about. These are the deepest settings for PvP visibility. And before we start the video, I made another video on the channel before with the settings, which is on my channel. So what you're going to do is just search up Verdi001, um, click on my channel. It's not this one. Just go to videos and find um, this video, 2025 settings. Now, the reason I want you guys to use this video is because I have all my rust settings. Now these are outdated, but I have Nvidia settings, graphic settings, power plan, and launch options. All right, to start it off, uh, which are gonna, these are what the graphics look like. These are the lowest graphics. They look kind of poopy, of course, but these are for graphics, of course, and I'll be showing you how to get them. Best visibility in FPS. So let's just start with the options. Uh, just copy all of my settings. Now, just make sure you have head bob off. Hit cross, you could keep on as well if you want. And then show blood, make sure you have off because it's gonna make the blood white. And then when the sun is in your eyes, you won't get red. And as well in physics, max gibbs, turn them all the way off and turn that off. That's what I recommend. Increases your FPS when someone's building. Now for user interface, I recommend, I recommend user interface scale to be around 0 0.8 or lower, like or 0 0.7 or lower. And that's the best you could ever do. Having a 2i makes your in inventory too big, just to waste of space. And copy all of these settings, you could pause. For audio, I use these settings. You guys could use them if you want. Um, that's just my personal preference though. And for screen, I use 1280 by 1080, but my monitor is set to 1080 by 1080. I just like having more pixels on my screen, but it's the same stretch as 1080 by 1080. Make the FPS limit to 240 and off vsync off and you can have these on if you have a bottleneck pc now for graphics this is where they changed a lot and render skill you put it all the way up nvidia dlls off nvidia dlla off and global rendering if you have a very 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 low end pc keep it off and make the global render distance all the way down personally i don't use it i do not think it's too helpful it just shows buildings and cliffs across the map so it's just more stuff for your memory to render in shader level i put all the way down shader level changes a lot if you want your game to look better put this up a little higher draw distance please put all the way up this is how far like this is the maximum distance that a player can see and render the world then all of these are down these are all useless grass displacement keep on because when you walk over it it moves the grass and this also goes for items Nvidia reflex mode off. If you have an option to do on plus boost, please do this. And for all of these, just put these off. These are all new, off, off, off. Now for the textures, this option right here is going to make your graphics very, very poopy or very, very good looking. If you guys do full resolution, every single thing in the game will look far better. If you do eighth resolution, it will make every texture in the game look like it's eighth other, just what it is, eighth ever resolution and just test around with it. But again, the lower it is, the setting is the more FPS you're gonna get. The higher it is, the less FPS you're gonna get. Now, I don't think it's a really big difference, but it shouldn't matter. This is disabled, disabled off the lowest you can. And all of these shadows, shadows don't matter anymore. They made a new system where if you're behind a wall or if it's not supposed to render, it won't even render the player and the shadow. So there's no use for even having shadows from far away unless you're really close and it renders for you. And mesh quality, I recommend keeping all of them down. If you want, you could put your tree quality to make the trees shadows far better looking. And object quality, if you want to make um, like the dropped items look far better. Now for image effects, I literally play with everything off. A lot of people play on with sharpen. Please test it out. I don't like sharpen. It makes everything look like it has an outline, like a like black outline. I do not like this. I like my game more smooth it hurts my eyes so if you play with sharpen go for it but everything else off accessibility um over my hours of playing and after they added this orange is the best color for tree marker i've tested it 
Orange is the easiest to see at night. This is why. And for experimental, um, just turn all these off. Automatic processor affinity, keep it on. It's good for um, your CPU and loading. And partial loading is the best. And crank this all the way up if you have 32 gigs. If you have 16 gigs, keep it more in the middle. But if not, just crank it all the way up. And yeah. All right. I hope you guys liked the video. Um, if you want more videos like this, like and subscribe. Comment in the description if you have any questions. And again, watch my YouTube video. I'll link in the description um, with all the NVIDIA and other settings. So yeah, that's it. Enjoy, guys. Have a good one.